All right, y'all, let's take a look at exactly what we want out of these badges and how you can execute that. So I'm gonna share my screen with you here. This is the badge uh, look that you have. This is the Arts AV All Class Badges slideshow. On this very first screen, you'll see a summary of all the badges that are possible. If we add some, I'll do a little star or something with that. There's some instructions here that can walk you through it. But basically, when you look at these badges, they're categorized under research, community outreach, or creation. Each badge is laid out uh, basically the same because, well, repetition is a thing. The directions will give you an idea of why it is we're doing this. The instructions will tell you how to do it. And the turn it in section will tell you how to turn it in, sometimes broken into digital if you do it on a computer. And those of you that don't have digital or working off the packets, there's non-digital. On the right hand side is a nice place to look as you're browsing these for a little summary of what it is, so a real short explanation. Also the suggested classes. The classes are the photography based ones, video based ones, or graphic design based ones. Down at the bottom you'll have your evaluation which shows you how you get your points and the different kind of points that you might get. And the needed equipment section will show you the types of things you'll need. So these non-digital ones you might need uh, scissors and tape. The digital ones you might need Wi-Fi, other people, computers, programs, and stuff like that. Once you choose your badge, it's on you for the rest of the week to uh, kind of decide um, how to process through it. But uh, we do want these badges turned in on Friday. You may work, you were uh, expected here to work on one badge and complete one badge per week. You are capable or allowed to complete more than one in a week. And there's going to be some incentives and bonuses for doing that. But no matter what, you'll have to turn in one each week. So you could do six of them, turn all six in, get the bonus points, and then do one the next week. You could do six of them, turn one in that week, and just turn one in the next. Uh, it's kind of up to you. Right now, aside from uh, the tutorials one, you're not allowed to repeat any badges. So once you do it, that's crossed off. So you can't just do puzzles for the next six weeks, though you can do puzzles uh, once. So ultimately, you're going to scan through those, personalize your learning, find the ones that you want to do. And then on Canvas, there's going to be Dropbox for each week. You can see the April 3rd one right here. And that little Dropbox, there's three options for you. you can just input text, like if you just need to write me something like, hey, I did this and I'm going to send you the collage later. Uh, you can include URLs. Lots of times, hopefully, you're going to be doing a file upload, which is your completed tutorial or your completed worksheet or a completed picture of you with your puzzle, whatever it might be. But I'll be checking those on Friday. That's how you'll be getting graded. And then we'll do that week in and week out. Those of you that are on committees, none of this will apply to you. You will get your grading instructions as we meet in our committee time.